One of the really nice things with React Native Ski is that if I see, for instance, so suddenly there are a lot of different worlds which are opening up to you. So for instance, if I watched a Unity tutorial on texture mapping, I can really easily map the concepts to, to React Native Ski. So we have also vertices, we have also like texture mapping and same for After Effects. So you can watch an After Effects tutorial and easily map the, the concepts or, you know, open JS shaders and, and you name it. And when I did the severance tutorial, we had to do this uh, CRT effect. And I stumbled on this um, great tutorial from Ben Marriott on how to do a CRT effect in, in After Effects. And when I watched the tutorial, what was fascinating to me is that you could easily map one-to-one -one the concepts. And so this is a tutorial he built. And what I, I redid it in Remotion using React Native uh, Skia. You have, uh, so the, yeah. So the CRT effect, you can make the tile a little bit uh, smaller, which I think is something he's showing also in the tutorial. So the phosphor dots can make them a bit smaller. You can adjust the brightness and so on. But um, yeah, we can follow this tutorial step by step and um, and achieve exactly the same uh, same results, essentially. Interesting. So it seems like independent from the tool that you use, it's always about how do you draw the pixels, essentially. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's start. So here he has um, some, you know, things we want to, to filter. And this is our, so I'm going to, uh, so this is our bread and butter. This is a simple, um, so I think, oh, I think it's called reference component. Oops. You know, we have some linear gradients here and there. Um, it was actually fun to also find out how to do the an infinite, uh, you know, animation here, but just, yeah, bread and butter. So this is using React Native uh, Skia on Remotion. So the, we were always using React Native Skia on Remotion. The novelty here is that we are obviously hacking things together and putting things together ourselves, but now this is not a hack anymore. This is just official React Native Skia package. This is using Canva Kit, which is Skia compared to WebAssembly, so we can uh, run it on React Native Web. And uh, we have to thank you because you also made a feature, a new feature in uh, in Remotion that allows us to load Canva Kit before doing anything here. And uh, it's kind of uh, yeah, a seamless experience to to work with. Very nice. So I have to to thank you for that. Yeah, thanks as well. It seems like. Um, that things just suddenly work on another platform. It's uh, no coincidence. Um, and that's kind of yeah the, the beauty of uh, Skia and also being able to use React on multiple platforms. But um, <laughs> I'm going off. Let's uh, continue with the tutorial. Yeah, no, and uh, I mean, quickly, like we, we did to have, like, to have the React Native web version working. So we do have to, comp to copy the... WebAssembly file using the copy plugin. So here I had to edit the remotion and config a bit, but it's really not that much. So we need to co to make the, this file available in the source uh, be because Canva Kit is using these two modules for Node. We need to have um, like a mock. And also this is, you know, because we have a, a reanimated integration. So we need also to mock these uh, things so we can we can run it. But I feel like it's not that much Right, you need to make it available, and then yeah, have like the node fallback, and also these things for for reanimated. So not that bad. And so let's go back into the tutorial. And the way he builds Ben builds the CRT effect is really interesting because he's really trying to reproduce how these things work physically to achieve the same effect, which is kind of fun. And the way these things uh, work physically is that you have the phosphor dots, and each of these dots are going to filter. Uh, the color of the of the input. So, you know, here it builds three, so a phosphor dot, like three rounded rectangle. So easy, right? So you watch the tutorial and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same. And I think, yeah. So we build a phosphor dot. So this is what we have here: rounded rec, three one, like one for each color. Here we use uh, the fit box to fit into the canvas size. Yeah, so far so good. 
Indeed, straightforward. And then he three cons- pixels. Yeah. And, and now if we have a component, then we can yeah render the component multiple times, and we have a lot of pixels. Yeah. So then he makes a tile, and yeah, we understand. Now well, in React Native Skia, we have like a tile mode for shaders, so we are going to do the same. So here we wrap it into a tile component. And yeah, so here, I mean, I can make it bigger and we can make also the size a bit bigger of the phosphor dot. I think we divided it by two, so we can just put it. So here again, it's the same size that is using in the tutorial. And then, so here they are already displaced already in the physical CRT screen. These are displaced and this is what is showing here. So you see they're all aligned, but actually the real reference result is that they are displaced. So this is part is interesting because then he's using a, a Venetian blinds to to have to build the bands, and then he's using it as a displacement map to move translate some of the bands. And this is because they don't have access to like a simple like shader language and so on. Because this in a shader would be only a few lines of code. So here instead of reproducing the effects, which we we could do also, the, we have the displacement map and so on. We we have also the Venetian blind effect. I mean, provided the right skia build. Um, here we know that uh, this is where you have to think programmatically, not necessarily follow step by step. Be like, okay, no, this is a simple shader which I'm gonna write. So we have with Remotion the advantage to do things programmatically, which can be a huge advantage sometimes. Of course, the advantage of After Effects, to be completely fair, is that they have access to tons of proprietary filters and effects, which uh, are very hard to to rebuild in manually. But um, yeah, right. And when you say it's an easy shader to code, it sounds scary, but there are tools out there that can help you do that, right? Absolutely. One, uh, a big one is uh, Shader Toy, which has tons of examples. And you can really like copy paste these examples and run them in, in Skia. So this is at some point at the end of the tutorial, he's showing, you know, he's adjusting brightness and so on. And then I just Googled brightness. Um, I think I, I, wanted, I thought maybe it could be done with a color matrix. And the first result was this example and I could just copy paste it. Uh, again, speaking of the, all these words colliding, so we speak also the words of um, the of shaders, and we can. So this is really fun. And so if we go into the um, the tile here, so this is how I do the displacement shader. So I have the width and height of the tile. We calculate the band. So we divide by the the width of the tile, and we check. So every two at every two bands, we do a displacement of minus. Uh, height of the tile divided by two. And if not, we return the tile unchanged. And just to, to show you, I can just disable the effect here. And so if I refresh, you see now they're all aligned completely. But here, you have the displacement, which is correspond to the physical CRT effect. That's so we, how TVs worked back then. Exactly. And so we are just following a tutorial along. Um, we're just having fun, but I just like that this was not a tutorial made for us. But thanks to Remotion and thanks to React Native Skia, suddenly these things are available to us. And so let's continue. So once now that we have the nice uh, screen, we need to filter the colors. So OK, he's making the Venetian blind and so on. So next step, you take the reference result and you want only the red and only the green and only the blue. And so, yeah, you watch the tutorial. So we have color matrices in, uh, in, so in SVG, in CSS, and of course in React Native Skia. And so we can apply transformation matrices like the same way we do it for uh, coordinates, we can do it for colors. And so this is the identity matrix. And if I want to filter only the red, I can put green and blue to zero. So it's going to multiply the values by by zero. So I, and if I want only green, I can set green to one. I see. That seems like a really useful so useful tool to have in your belt that you can use in Skia, CSS, and then with SVG. And how it works is that by default you have the identity matrix, and then you change the values to essentially manipulate. 
Yeah. A single color challenge. Yes. Single color channel, I mean. So here we have our reference component. We apply a color matrix. And I say blue is one, red and green is zero, right? So this is a matrix. Very simple. And so we are filtering each color. Now, if I filter, let's say red, what I want to do is to have the red colors only go through the red dots of the phosphor tiles. And the first thing I want to do to, to do this is that, so again, if I, if I show my, my tiles here, is to only show the red dots. So I'm removing, so I make all the other dots transparent so I can use them as a mask. And the way the mask work is that every transparent pixel are going to be ignored and it's going to use only the pixels which have an alpha one. So here it's red, but it could be black, it could be blue. It just depends on what is the alpha value. And we use blend modes to... So this is what I'm doing here. I select only the red dots and I use it as a mask to the reference result where we filter only the red color. And so that's step five. And we have, so again, exactly like in the tutorial. It's impressive. It shows that no matter which tool that you're using, you're always trying to do the same thing, draw pixels. Exactly. And what I like about this example a lot is that it really simulates how the old TVs displayed yeah. the image. I yes. think it's, it's almost like educational <laughs> now. I understand how they worked. Absolutely. And so we do it for the red here. We do it for the green here. So we have the green mask. We have the blue mask. They overlay on top of each other. And this is how it looks like. Amazing. And it's kind of pre pretty and it's an iconic look yeah. that I wouldn't have known how to create. Yes. At the end, he, you know, adjust some brightness, which we have here. So you see, we added some brightness. I just copy pasted the shader from Shader Toy, and you can change the values uh, here. So maybe you, like it's going to be completely white, I guess. Here, yes, uh, I can make it smaller. Um, increase the saturation. Contrast. Let me make it maybe bigger. Uh, contrast. So yeah, um, and he had some blurs to make the, you know, tile, the phosphor dots look not so crisp. So you can see here they are blurred. Um, what else, what else? And then we have the, this effect here. So you see this noise that you see here, right? Yeah, so it has some pretty, so it shows how to, yeah. Beautiful, colorful edges. So we have, we have the sponsored content, but um, where is it? It's, I think it's here. Yeah, you see it here, it's displaced. So here again, I'm thinking, let's just write a shadow, right? And we have a progress value, which is gonna be a uniform. So I think it's this component. Uh, we need to know if it's N or N plus one. So that when we reset the animation, it doesn't uh, blink, it stays smooth. And so if the Y value is bigger than the progress, we, we displace uh, the, the pixels and on the other side, if not. And yeah, so really, and here, of course, behind the right, so what we use as a reference result can be anything, can be the Remotion logo, can be a video, can be thanks to Remotion, can be also um, the result of After Effects, actually, you can use, right? Um, with Loti, you can use After Effects stuff, so, um, yeah. Yeah, just wow. Um, as you've mentioned, it's out there, and you're going to make the source code yeah. available as well? It's going to be available in the video description. Nice. And um, we've seen there are still a few rough edges. We need to work on the fast refresh a bit where maybe it acts up with the shaders. Any other caveats that there are at the moment? Not caveats, but uh, things, um, you know, which obviously we have in mind for the future. So the way you see you compose these filters and so on, and especially if you have a scale drawing and you want to treat it as a shader, 
So you can apply different kind of filters and shader, shaders on top of it. Uh, the way it works right now is a bit awkward. It's because we did, can you believe that we did some premature optimizations now, but <laughs> we, in our React renderer, we did some, we did do a premature optimization that is making some of this composition a little bit awkward. This is going to be fixed uh, hopefully quite soon. And the second thing is that, so we are using Canva Kit, which is used to build web apps. It's Kia, so it's used by Flutter Web. It's used by us for React Native Web. When you use it in, so size is important. The size of the package is important. If you use it for remotion, the size is not important. And there are a lot of filters you want to access, which are not really useful in a web app. But if you think of remotion as being this open source programmatic uh, after effect, these are really, really useful. And so we hope that we will be able to provide custom um, Canva kit build, which are really just tailor made for remotion, but contains uh, you know all the filters you can imagine because it doesn't matter how big the Canva kit is. And um, so speaking of, uh, also I mentioned that after effect has a lot of these proprietary effects and filters which is yeah true what uh, one of the fun thing is that skia implements loti in skia so it's called scotty and part of the source code is that they've already implemented some of the effects and algorithm um, so it's a uh, looking in the source code is a bit of a treasure trove to be fair it's not a lot it's just a little bit but still i mean it's it's just good fun it's just a fun time definitely the, the interoperability between all of these things is actually quite impressive um, and, uh, yeah, of course we'll work together really close. Um, so that yeah, Remotion and how... React Native Skia work yeah, well we... together. And, uh, We're I, working I hope on two separate projects, but together kind of, it yes, feels like, which is finally, nice. finally, yes, um, <laughs> so that's good. getting back together and, uh, yeah, I hope people will create awesome stuff with it. Yeah.